All right, welcome, welcome back to the Entrepreneur to Entrepreneur Shift the Culture Podcast. And finally, my buddies are in person once again. I see Gail in a minute. I see you know over her phone. Yeah. But it's good to finally see her back in person again. Thanks. J Isaacs has returned. Yes. And we are all here in the flesh today. Shout out to Travis. Shout out to Travis, who is somewhere at a conference or something. I guess he is, but hopefully he's tuned in. Yes. Um, and he can contribute via the comments, or he could call in if you want to. If you got any minutes on your phone, he could call in and contribute. And um, today we're going to be discussing the influence of social media on business policy. Mm-hmm. I think what we'll be getting into today, and it stems from a couple of businesses changing their policies due to either uh, pressure or feedback uh, from social media as it relates to the tragic shootings in Florida, I think it was. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was. Yeah, so the tragic shootings in Florida um, resulted in a lot of social media um, protests, and I guess a, a couple of companies got a, aware of it and they decided to change up their Some policies. long-standing policies yeah. because of it. Mm-hmm. Um, Gail, if you want to get into specifics, because I'm not, I'm not as familiar with the stories, to be honest. I'm not a, a, up to speed. Um, so, Gail, you could get us up to speed on as to exactly which company is and exactly what policy they change. Mm-hmm. Okay, so in response to the, as you mentioned, the shooting in Florida, the first company was Delta Airlines who came out and said that they will no longer be offering discounts to members of the NRA, which is the National oh, really? Rifle Association, I believe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, that's what that is. Right, exactly. Wow. So they um, they were the first company to actually take a stand. Mm-hmm. Because, to try and force the hand, because that's the major right. lobbyist for this. For, the, for these, the sale of these rifles, these assault rifles. And as we mentioned, war. Um, war machines. War machines. Mm-hmm basically created to cut people down in seconds in seconds and they are being sold and these children have access to it children and adults alike but especially you know the teenagers and the children involved in these school shootings um and then subsequently or since then a few other companies have followed suit including walmart as we mentioned and also dick sporting goods who has now put in place policies so that people over the you have to be over the age of 21 to purchase these rifles and i think they're not selling that particular rifle anymore and a few other things who said that they ain't good for something <laughs> so that was good i know so um uh yeah so that's a general walmart jumping in walmart as well and it's really that these companies the first company you know you always got to be the first one to take a stand and it can go either way yeah because so even for delta the one of the lawmakers or somebody in a higher position in government in georgia said well you know if you aren't going to do this then we're not going to make certain concessions for your company the since i believe cuts. right since i believe the airline is based in georgia or yeah let's just say georgia because i'm not sure of the city or whatever um so you can have backlash for as a business for responding um, to events like these. Uh, it could have gone another way where Delta, you know, well, they do ha- they did get some backlash from people who support the NRA and are part of them. Mm-hmm. Um, but they did also get support for what they did and taking a stand. And so even when Walmart and Dick Sporting Goods and so on, and now you see people are starting to get on board. So it's like, you as a business take a risk almost responding to these type of activities, but then it can also be beneficial to you as well. Yeah. Yeah. I think in situations like this, one of the things, the one of the worst things you could do is stick your head in the sun and ignore. Mm-hmm. Um, I think there's nothing wrong with reading the tea leaves, but you, when you make a decision to take a stance, you have to decide what are you trying to do? Are you trying to take the stance to better your bottom line mm-hmm. or you're taking a stance to better the community around you that's right. affected and that's protested and that eventually will affect your bottom line because if you go from a community standpoint you have to understand the community is always divided mm-hmm. so there's always going to be people for and there's going to be people against especially in a hot button issue right like yeah where emotions are and, high and what's not mm-hmm. there are a large amount of people that are for it and there's an equal amount that's against it. And you have to figure out what type of businesses that I have, where's my core audience and 
who do I side with in this? Right. Do I want to be on the right or the wrong side of history? Mm-hmm. So I think what Walmart did was pretty smart because they are an international chain. Mm-hmm. Um, the the group that's affected and that's protesting the most is the next generation. That's true. So they'll be looked at as, you know what? These pe- this corporate partner is down for the cause, so they could see an uptick in sales. As opposed, if they continued, maybe down the line as the protest got more aggressive, you mm-hmm. may see calls for boycott. And I'm not talking about Monique with the Netflix thing. <laughs> I'm talking about real, real boycott, real Occupy Wall Street, real actually Action. blacklisting yes. a certain company. So I think. Dix and Walmart was pretty much smart to get ahead of it, mm-hmm. but some people run the risk if if people see that move as trying to take advantage or riding the wave, right. they will call you out, especially when it comes to black people. But this instance, we're just talking about millennials, uh, 15 year olds, 16, 17 year olds. Mm-hmm. Um, it doesn't matter what race, it doesn't matter what sex all of them coming together and putting their power and behind their voices. Yeah. And I think you made an interesting point because the black lives matter movement, for example, has been um, going on for some time, as we all know, police brutality, et cetera. But these same companies didn't respond to that. No. You know what I mean? But now they have this event where there are, to be honest, young Caucasian people who are speaking up which may may have made them feel more comfortable about taking this sort of stand against it. So that is also an influencing factor on how companies respond to different things. Mm-hmm. It's race. It's race based. Yeah, so? yeah it, it is. can be it race is. based. Um, it is race based. He mentioned uh, Jay mentioned that millennials and people who would shop with Walmart and stuff like that. So my, that might also be a factor. Maybe these young people are. Maybe they bring in the most dollar value for that store. So showing support for them would increase sales. You know, you never. Yeah, they're going to be the next generation. Right. Of moms. Did they, they release, did, did Walmart and Dex release like an official statement stating yes. the reasons why specifically they uh, opted to, you know, make these policy changes? Well, they, I mean, they didn't go into like excruciating explicit detail. detail. Right. But. The but general. the change that people would demand, if you looked at the Ricky Robio um, town hall meeting, right, where he pretty much was calling it. Marco Rubio. Marco Rubio. Well, 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 we talking Ma- NBA now? Yeah. <laughs> Ma- Mark, Marco Rubio. Where I have no idea who those people are. Po- a politician. That's a politician. Uh, he ran for uh, the Republican. President. Yeah, for president. On the for primary. Republican. Little Marco. Uh, Trump called Little Marco. Yeah, mm-hmm. he, he's yeah. a coward. But anyway. Um, but that, that was very telling. Mm-hmm. Notice, um, because they take a lot of uh, money from gun lobbyists, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and so the guy was saying, "Well, why don't you just, you know, not take the money or whatever?" And he came up with some BS politician yeah. answer to try dance around it. It just goes to show you what really motivates these people. Well, I I'm looking now, and it says that Georgia Republicans actually passed a bill punishing Delta for cutting ties with the NRA. Yeah, oh, so they said they said they would do that. They, they would take punished, away yeah. those tax, Delta. whatever tax yeah. relief they had. Yeah, yeah, they did. They stripped out a sales tax exemption for, on jet fuel, mm-hmm. so oh. Delta would have been the prime beneficiary of the tax break, which has been worth an estimated thirty-eight million dollars. Wow. So money. these are the risks. Jeez. As a business that you take, you want to stand out and do the right thing. But obviously the hands behind the veil, you know, ha- have that great power. And when I see things like that, I always wonder why. Like, what would motivate you to go that to that length to break a company down for taking a stand on something? That's when pe- people are attached to their beliefs and their ideas. Mm-hmm. When they are st- like super attached and it becomes who they are Mm -hmm. they would do anything to protect that Mm -hmm. you know what i mean to keep it and if it's something that already exists they'll do anything to keep it there Mm -hmm. even if they have to destroy companies if they have to destroy lives it doesn't matter yeah yeah i mean they'll do whatever as you can clearly see no matter Mm -hmm. how irrational it is because they looked at looked at it as an offense right how Mm -hmm. dare you and this is i'm in a position of power so this is what i could do to destroy you and tell you change it back and they and they kept their promise because they threatened it yes, what, they did. a few days ago yes, and they did. it's they already sure lost. Come on. but i mean children are dying you know what i mean like yeah. people are taking guns and killing people in a school mm-hmm. so the fact that you could speak out about that and then be punished for that is even ugh, you well know? I, uh, well i hope i hope people are prepared the same way um uh, if you saw the success of the Black Panther thing, right? Yeah. Um, people have been waiting a long time to see Black representation. I hope 
uh, the people protest and look at it and say, okay, here's a corporation that took a risk. Mm -hmm. This is the backlash. Mm -hmm. Let's fly with these people. Yeah, you know what I mean. And I think a lawmaker in Virginia also hit Delta up and was like, "Well, if they're gonna carry on like that, then you could come over here." You know what I mean? And again, that may be some business uh, benefit for them doing that. But the backlash that they face in Georgia now, they may be able to move their company, and this is a whole other business model now. Pretty much keeps the Atlanta airport afloat. That's like their main hub. Okay. So that's risky politics right now. Yeah. That's risky politics. And it begs the question, like, like how do you, as a business owner, how do you tread these waters mm -hmm. of the, the, the social divide? Because right. you know you have a lot of people on both sides. Mm -hmm. So where how 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 do you move forward as a business navigating these treacherous waters to decide which side you are going to, you know, side with when it comes to these issues? Because you stand to lose almost either way you go, mm -hmm. you're gonna lose to some degree. Right. It all depends on the bigger picture. So for me, it's new money versus old money and then right versus wrong. Okay. Right? I never want to be on the wrong side of anything. Okay. Right. Um, so for me, if you look at the talks that we have here now with the pro marijuana versus anti marijuana legalization, mm -hmm. I'm on pro. Right. I'm not a pothead. Right. But I'm right. pro because I see what the economic benefits, the medical benefits, right. overall benefit, the bigger picture. Right. I don't care about the stupid um, racially charged. <laughs> But they ain't even racially charged for here. It's just stupid. No, I mean, <laughs> it's no, but it's still, it's still, it's, it's still based in racism. The yeah. laws that prohibit right, yeah. marijuana use is is race based, right? So I don't want to be a part of that. So I, I, I say I'm pro marijuana, mm -hmm. right? No matter how people feel about it, I don't want to be in the wrong side. And 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 for me, if it was to be legal or regulated, I would go into business, mm -hmm. right? Right. As opposed to a lot of people. Unfortunately, they side with old money because it's easy. They already have it. Mm -hmm. um, and they don't want to take the risk to inconvenience themselves for a short term. Right. And when you say old money, you mean, what do you mean specifically? When I say you old mean, money, I mean money that's been. The base they from, already had? Exactly. They're not looking base. to expand. They're oh, not okay. looking they're at the bigger they're picture. Their current customer base. Right. Not looking for really new business from new customers. Right. Mm -hmm. So they, they're comfortable with the 50 year olds that they have 10 years from 10 years from now. They'll be 60, 65. They're good with the Jerry Hattrick money. Right. Right. Not right. looking to expand to say, okay, well, this kid is 15 years old now. Uh -huh. Five years from now, he's a new voter, plus he's spending money, probably looking for a new car loan or whatever the case would be. You have to figure out how you nurture that base. Mm -hmm. So you always trying to figure out to expand your, your I guess in this case, uh, your, your target audience, how to nurture them. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you may have to take a hit for maybe a year or mm -hmm. two mm -hmm. until you could get to the promised land and then look what you did. 21 to 55 mm -hmm. you have so many years to reap that the, the benefit mm -hmm. as opposed to sticking with that old money and dying out with it yeah and i think in our society too in the hair in the bahamas you if you support the wrong and by wrong i mean not the majority or not the popular vote then it affects you for so long you know what i mean like if you as a business or a person stand out or stand up for something or against something um the the repercussions of that can be so bad like i've seen people not get contracts or not get work because of their stance on a certain social issue or people completely you may even be misinformed about your stance on something and would use that against you or it could affect you even down to your political persuasion let's say in this country can determine whether or not you get work and stuff like that so I it's like you speaking up at a risk or you taking a stand at a risk mm -hmm. that could affect your bottom line at the end of the day. Like businesses have died yeah, because of taking a particular stance here about something. Mm -hmm. So even that is like, well, what do you do? Execution is everything though. Yes. Um, I think, I think we kind of we're extremists yeah. in, the, in our views. So yeah. it's either you're hard this or you're hard that. And I think, like Greg preaches this all the time, you could disagree, but you still could be respectful yeah. and have a reasonable dialogue. Right. And I think that's where we go wrong here. Where two, it's too many polar opposites. Mm -hmm. Um, 
you could disagree with somebody. Mm-hmm. Um, you could have a different method of going about it, and you still could respect someone's position. Yeah, yeah most um, definitely. And I think that's the way that you have an opposing view, and you survive in case it doesn't win. Right. You're you're cool with both sides. Like there are so many people that quote unquote throw the victimization flag, but really ain't hurting when the other party is in or whatever uh, the case, they make yeah. their money behind the scenes yep. and smaller, more consistent contracts and they survive until they party in and then they <laughs> get the big public contracts and they could drive in their Mercedes yeah. and this and that. Yeah. So I, it's it's a lot of BS. You have to really be in, you really have to be in the know to know who actually is suffering, but it is real. Mm-hmm. You know? But it but it's because you go about it in the wrong way. Yeah, and I think that's And really you're true. always supposed to have friends on both sides and in cases where there's a third party, you have to have friends in, on all sides, so you're taking care of either way. Yeah, it's, it's, and it's only smart. I mean, that's why a lot of companies in the U.S., they give the boat body. Oh, yeah, they give the for sure. Body. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Some mm-hmm. for boat. They, they hedge their bets, basically. Hey, one of y'all go in. Right, yeah, yeah right. And, I, and even um, to bring it home to the Bahamas, over the last general election, you heard uh, number house owners say it. They supported uh, candidates from both parties as well. Of course. Yeah. So, Cover all the bases. You know, of course. I mean, it only makes sense. You know either this one or this one will win. Mm-hmm. If I support both of you, then I can get my way regardless. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And I yeah. think that support of a particular party, that sort of um, benefit is starting to win as well. Where in the past, let's say here, you'd be able to support a certain party and you would get contracts and certain things. But now, more recently, I would say within the last 10 years, it's been more about how... I can benefit. So the the benefits aren't being spread around as much as back in the day. Like if I voted for a particular party, let's say in the 70s or the 80s, I might have benefited more than if I support a particular party in 2017 because there's that, that attitude. Okay. It, it all depends. Break that down for me. I, 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 I know what she's talking about. I, never, <laughs> I know what she's talking about. Okay, for example, in 2012, I remember this. Um, I remember that there were people who were entrepreneurs and ready to vote for a particular party and were excited when that particular party won the election because in their mind, that meant that their support would be rewarded. Mm -hmm. Like they would get certain contracts, they would get certain benefits. And so they positioned themselves with that party. Mm -hmm. And when they won, they were very, very excited. Not nap it in the uh, in the four <laughs> in the four to five years that followed. Not nap it. Nothing happened. Uh, Biggie so, Small said it best. It was all a dream. <laughs> <laughs> so by aligning themselves now, and then of course now this lap, a different party's in place. So now you thought that uh, by aligning yourself with these people in 2012 would benefit you. Mm-hmm. It hasn't benefited you up until this point. It ain't gonna benefit you now because you with the other people and the other people in place now. Mm-hmm. But that's like 10 years. Mm, I understand what you're saying. But again, (laughs) you have to play the game right. You have to be in the right circle Mm -hmm. that actually are decision makers. Mm -hmm. Right. So when the the hit, when things, when they actually do come to power, Mm -hmm. you could actually reap those um, dividends. Um, Also, you have to play the long term game as well. So if you, you can't just. Um, go with the popular hand mm-hmm. and be the seventh person on the ladder. You you have to say, okay, well, this guy has such and such. Mm-hmm. This guy is doing such and such. Let me kind of show my value to him. Mm-hmm. Help him get to get in a certain position. And you all, here's the thing: the person, people like to make friends of the politicians mm-hmm. and not the permanent secretaries. Those are the people with the real power. Major key alerts. Okay. Those are the people that make decisions. The directors of these various ministries, Mm -hmm. they make decisions. Mm -hmm. Stop BSing with the politician. They puppets. Yeah. You you understand? The civil service is where it's at. Yeah. Like Gail said, Major Key, go take that. Yeah, for true. And then also, I think, I mean, we kind of mentioned this before, but then I think businesses also tend to respond too quickly. And, oh, yeah. And uh, especially in highly emotional situations, uh, I think that a lot of local businesses, we try to capitalize on certain things, but like sometimes it ain't a time. Because it's not genuine. That's right. the problem. That's, mm-hmm. that's, that's the problem. And that's, yeah. and that's where it gets dangerous, uh, where um, allowing social media to influence you can get dangerous, where you're too quick to act. You just see, oh, this thing bubbling. Let me just jump on this. And then it ends mm-hmm. up 
And I, I see Gail making the faces. I think I know she responds. <laughs> I know what. <laughs> why y'all even call on there? Let's talk no. about the most recent example of this. Girl. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> so like, like, well, Jay, yeah. She has an issue with the whole um, alive uh, Florida. I don't even know the young lady. I feel so crazy calling. No, her she's she's so Florida. Know, she's Florida, 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 right? Connection. Mm -hmm. That was what you said. That's an example of a company acting too quickly without actually weighing, you know, the possible repercussions uh, uh, on a big, big, big scale. Yeah, and I think that you just told that line so delicately. Like, mm -hmm. if things had actually worked out with her, mm -hmm. they would all really come out, you know, looking really, really good and uh, really relevant and like, you know, up to the time uh, and type of thing, right? But because the things that like go she had a hell of a she had a hell of a it is a gamble know, you know, you it like, is a gamble you have to gamble you, yeah you never know, like and that's why yes yes silence that was a long shot best out, as a business mm -hmm. right because you're trying to capitalize on this but then at the same time that risk may have been too much for the company to take on so you could they could have left her in that space where she was popular for that period of time and then maybe later on looked at doing something with her had she been Maybe a more favorable. Let it, it flash been, out. It may have been too right. late then, because as you know, especially in this day and age, in this social media era, mm -hmm. things only last about a couple of days in some, in some instances. Right. Maybe a week. Right. So I think they were thinking, listen, we have to strike this iron while it's hot, because once this dies down, that's a wrap. So if they had taken like all of that time and allowing it to calm down, mm -hmm. sure they may have avoided some of the negative backlash due to what happened, mm -hmm. but they would have also missed out on the possible potential of what could have been right. had those things not transpired. So you can't wait too long when it comes to hopping on social media trends because they don't last long. Because right. every time it's a new thing. It's just a new thing every other day. So you have to act quickly. Yeah. So that's dangerous. That's the power of the pause, though. Like, as a business, okay, we see something. You have to, for example, my favorite example of this is when Pharrell wore that hat to the Grammys or the something. The happy hat, right. And happy somebody hat. said, right, somebody said, oh, it, he wearing the Arby's hat. Mm -hmm. And Arby's, like, retweeted that and was like, Pharrell, we're going to need our hat back. Right. And it just was a positive thing that took off. It could have gone the other way, mm -hmm. but it took off and everything. So you're making these split-second decisions, mm -hmm. and you really have to weigh, like, is this reaction what is the result of this reaction going to be? So for these people, that pause where you kind of have that think tank, you look around. For example, I think the young lady from the example we were talking about yeah, had yeah, yeah, videos yeah. posted that you could have seen on her social media mm, that, that would have indicated idea. that yeah. maybe this may not have been the best idea. Exactly. Like that little bit of research and exactly. that little bit of that pause is for that research and that. Um, like you say, due diligence uh, happened so that when you actually execute this, you don't get the backlash that they did. Yeah, they and but they got off lucky. They really did, yeah, though. No, 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 no. no. Uh, the, uh, the company okay. did. I don't care. <laughs> you they got off lucky. What do you mean? I think. I think. Uh, for the mistake that they they made, um, uh, the public backlash was minimal. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, because. From the jump, it was a very, very bad idea. It yeah. was a horrible <laughs> idea. I don't the think way, it's horrible. The way I would have gone about it, it the way I wanna would have gone about it, I would not have directly um, a, a, attached my company mm, to, to it and, and allow my premier artist to create a likeness of her to say, okay, we endorse this person. Mm -hmm. What I would have done is said, okay, well, I have an influencer or two that's comedic. You belong in comedy let them do a party with you and then mm. we could throw it off as a one-off situation mm. okay you, you understand so let me use the tools that i have that adequately addresses what your situation is so not, mm -hmm. not have you as a brand ambassador for, uh, for city, i don't i don't think she was a brand you. ambassador well, i just think that she her image was too closely linked to their marquee uh, yeah style of branding yeah i think that it maybe in that case it's like a one size fit all type of thing mm -hmm. so when we have somebody that's an influencer and da 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 we're going to execute a caricature of them we're going to have a video with them we're going to blah 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 and like you say the structure of that should have been different mm -hmm. where they would have had her appear somewhere with or, the you king know, cloud or something right the things that you, you have mm -hmm. suggested would have probably come off a bit better mm -hmm. i wonder what distracted us from that but a lot of things, things. Like it's, it's, a lot of things you got minister them with the oban yeah, and, <laughs> and, that's, and that's my point like it, it, and this is why the 
the repercussions a lot of times isn't that bad because you just need some time to pass and people tend to forget. They yeah. get off lucky. Why Bahamian's memory is dead short. Oh, man. But yeah. they long, but they short. Terribly, yeah. terribly yeah. short. <laughs> they so, remember right away. We're seeing on social media like no more. I haven't seen a video like, in a minute. Mm-hmm. And you is so and so and such and such. Yeah. 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 That, that's that's why, you know, I guess they so quick to jump on these things because they figure, hey, listen, if it hit, it could be a big benefit. If if it ain't a hit, then you know, people can forget about it anyway. We can yeah. keep pushing out either way. Because yeah. people have short memory spawn this is social media era. People can forget. Something that's, else new can come out and they can forget about it. That's probably why they felt like they could be so reckless. Yeah. I because it was it was Certain aspects of it was pretty reckless. That was some some <laughs> person that yeah. had too much freedom. I bet they don't yeah. have that same freedom anymore. Yeah, that's a why. You know what I mean? Uh, but if I, you do, I, make me an ambassador. Maybe. <laughs> but this is why people get teachable paid moment. Big, people get paid the big bucks because you have to, you know, take these kind of risks and make these kind of decisions. This is what you get paid for. Mm. And if you're right, then listen, you get paid more. Yeah, if you're you gotta, wrong, you could lose your job. That's that's the risk you take. Gotta do some research. That's, that's, that's a part of the job. Mm-hmm. But like you said, you have to do your due diligence, especially in this day and age. People are snitch on themselves. I don't know why. Listen, <laughs> if I look for somebody to do something, the first place I get in is to your social media profile. Because right. You can tell me the type of person you are. Tell me everything about you. That's yeah. true. Uh, yeah, look, that's true. I need no resume. Your resume is online. That's yeah. true. And I have access to it. I'll go look. I'll take that into consideration. That's true. I confuse a lot of people with my online so, presence. So, like you said, they could have did a simple search. You think it's you? For her and found out <laughs> what she was about beforehand. Yeah. And that would have at least given them a bit more information yeah. before they made such a big decision. Yeah. But like I said, it blew over anyway. So, you know. Who, I they do- they ducked the oh no they fade. dodge a bullet. Yeah, no, but sure. They must have went to church that weekend. <laughs> <laughs> but no big repercussions because people just forget, you know what I mean? So you can take these risks. Yeah. So if if something happens like something like we're talking about social activities or something happening, you know in society that we can use for our brands like first thing make sure is it relevant to your brand mm. yep yes. because Relevance not because it's popular That's doesn't key. mean that you should jump on it number two what about sensitivity for example with the children in florida this is you know the death of people this is basically mm. a massacre you don't want to use that as a marketing opportunity right. per se you don't want to be a trump you don't right well yeah okay <laughs> you don't want to real yeah you don't want to jump on this just because it's happening like right, you need right. to have some level of um sincerity I, yeah sincerity yeah. and you, you want to be genuine. kind about it yeah. genuine about it and then also uh, if you have posts scheduled check those as well because sometimes i think a company got in trouble because of a scheduled post where after a shooting um they had an ad for you know, let's say you're bringing your gun and get a free burger type of thing, oh. right? Like, I'll just throw that out <laughs> yeah, there, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, but that's what they did. They had a post scheduled. Right. It happened to be posted after an event occurred. Of course, they could not have known that this event would have happened. Uh, right. But they ended up looking stink mm-hmm. in the process mm-hmm. because of that schedule post. So, again, if something happens and you have post scheduled, make sure to double check those mm-hmm. to make sure that you don't accidentally get yourself in problems. Right. Be on top of things. Know what's going on. Yeah, you have to be cognizant of things that are happening, mm-hmm. so that you could, you know, check your post below. Let me see if we have anything scheduled that may, you know, not look right mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. of this event that just took place. Yeah. So you have to constantly be aware of your social uh, presence, what you're putting forward out there, because. I mean, people live on social media now, and people live to criticize on social oh, media. Oh, the trolls are real. So anything Very they much so. attack or anything, they look into do it. So you have to be careful. Yeah. And I think, like you said, it has to match. Make sure it matches your brand, and you're not just trying to piggyback on something. Because it'll people will pick up on it. Yeah. You know what I mean? People aren't slow. They'll pick up on it, and they will expose you for it. So just be cautious when it comes to jumping on social media trends Mm -hmm. um it can be beneficial but it can also be detrimental at the same time so you have to pay close attention to what you want to jump onto i think you just be genuine if it genuinely reflects what you want to represent what you want to put out there and put forward Mm -hmm. then go ahead but don't try to do it just because you feel oh this is a great opportunity to take advantage of a situation Mm -hmm. because you could get yourself in some serious hot water if you decide if that's your reason for doing it strictly for money yeah. bankruptcy i remember Pretty another bad. international artist but campbell soup during like the super bowl or something like that and they featured they have this long it's not a monologue what do you call it within video with montage i think montage with yeah. um all the people you know they're showing the thing and you're going inside the house and 
two dads are sitting down at the table enjoying Campbell's soup with their child. And it was during the big thing with gay marriage and stuff like that. And it was just like, what are y'all, what? Because this is hot now, you trying to of use course. gay marriage to sell some soup? Like yeah. it didn't connect. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, you know what I mean? Like hey, I was sitting down there like, hey, what the hell hey. is this? That's that's a whole nother can of paint. But that's, that's, that's a good point. Because like, listen, stay on brand. You know, yeah. You know, what does homosexuality have to do with soup? With some soup. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I don't see the connection. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, um, you so gotta that, stay, make sure point. your brand aligned with yes. whatever you're trying to promote. And mm. be careful to be aware mm. that always remember on any particular issue, chances are you're gonna have large groups of people on each side. Yep. Right. And you have to be aware of that. And if you're gonna take a such a bold and forward stance on certain things, you just have to anticipate that backlash and anticipate that you may lose some customers. Mm-hmm. Yep. And this is why you have to make sure that it's genuine and it's something that you don't mind losing money over. Yep. You know what I mean? It's something that represents your company and that you want to be in the forefront. Mm-hmm. So just be very careful of those decisions well, that can, you make. Kendisha say, did you see Mount Carmel's Facebook page? School fees are due. Parents, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> Real. Hey. What is, as, as a social media manager, what do you think about a post like that from a company? Shows desperation. Is it good? Is it bad? What? what it's, that's that? too. That's Just too put ghetto. Just the whole school in rice. No, <laughs> it's, it's 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 a bit too ghetto. It's a private institution. Right, You're yeah. supposed to carry yourself a certain way. You want yeah. to take people to take you seriously. Yeah. You shouldn't be posting that. And then plus, hold so on. Now, pri- it's parent, called private emails. But I'm a parent paying my child school fee, and you can put it out there to these parents. They pay an hour to child school fee, and they in the same, same and they in the same class with my child, yeah, and yeah. I don't pay. But you get a lot better because you know they just say parents to school we do. Wait till next term. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I write my daughter said. Who <laughs> that person paid. needs to be fired. Who posted that? <laughs> Yeah, just letting y'all know that person know deserves it. No, no, no. Jay is like, no, 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 no. That person has a list of stupid suppose things that they've done. Suppose, Let, suppose the Mount Carmel Facebook page was off the chain up until this point, and they had this one. Game. I highly doubt that. Faux pas. I, I highly doubt that. I think that that on, you know. Here's the thing, right? I'm whenever you this. see, whenever you see a hiccup or a snag, mm-hmm. oh, look at look. Think about clothing. When you see a snag, you. Normally, if you follow it, there is a trace, mm-hmm. right? There's always a pardon. That level is stupid. That's that's not the first time. That's not the first time. Oh, let's 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 fire that person, okay? Yeah. Well, Caramel, you could do better. You've been around <laughs> when I was in school. You could do better. You're you're older than that now. Yeah. That was a long time ago. Hey, yeah. Listen, I I ain't gonna say fire the people. I don't know the I don't know the details surrounding that situation. Just stop hiring your niece to run your Facebook page. And, ah. And also, also, don't let just be clear when you hire people. Be clear of the vision and the direction of the company. Make sure they understand exactly what it is you represent mm-hmm. and what you want to put out for public mm-hmm. so they have a guideline so they just don't be willy-nilly oh this is cool let me post this you know let's post I mean? those exam mm-hmm. results and make sure get, <laughs> no. get clarence y'all should have some kind of you know what i mean uh, is this okay let them be able to get some kind of clarence for you hey before you post it check with such and such to make sure that this is what we really want to put I, I, you know what i mean you know what you know what the thing is i think everybody should have a certain liberty to execute their job independently um so the fact that there for something as simple as social media you have to check with somebody i think that's a bit too redundant mm-hmm. i think you should just hire the sensible person to do, to do it, it yeah. i think hey, i think listen, that, sensible people make bad decisions you know I yeah, I know, but true. sensible a sensible person wouldn't have posted that. Yes. I, I, no, I've, I've, no, I've, no, listen, no, 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 no. I'm not going to say that that person is. That person ratchet. I'm not going. <laughs> that person had a account of Pineapple Express. <laughs> I'm okay. Not say that they're not sensible because I have seen. I've seen sensible Jay. people make stupid decisions all the time. I I've, agree. I've, I've heard sensible people make ridiculous points. Greg, read that again, so, boy. So which one? Read no, read that comment again. I can't even find it. No more. I can't even find it no more. But, then, but we are school fees are school due. Parents, do. parents where, are where, are where are you? Where y'all at? That don't that don't sound where like that don't sound, that sound like that sound like she done had one too hey, many collects. Hey, where I they at? Though? I commend the person for trying to be creative, trying to be clever. Hey, get the attention right. I I bet y'all didn't even know Mon Caramel had a Facebook page before that. Real. Okay then. So it's that's the wrong type of getting attention. That's not the attention grabber you want. Listen, it's effective in 
some way, shape, or form because y'all wasn't checking for Mount Caramel or their Facebook page before that. I bet they don't now get new students. We, they, they made it relevant for the two minutes we talked about it on the show. Yeah. So that's some accomplishment. Yeah. Let's give them some kind of kudos. Listen, I'm trying to, stand up trying to fire you. I'm trying to help you keep your good job. Oh. Um, inbox? Who, who inbox? Oh, Gail. Contracts, con- contracts, contracts, contracts. Getting hung out. <laughs> no, no, no. She, I was saying, I was trying to look for it, so I think she found it. Yeah, but anyway, we don't. Do <laughs> one, oh, she sent it. Okay, let's say, let's do things together, Mon Caramel parents. This is one of my like favorite Canva templates too. See you on Wednesday, February seven at six thirty. But there's nothing wrong with that. Like, mm-hmm. because like, we, we let's do things together, like attend PTA meetings. Okay. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Gail, Gail. Gail. we get a Gail. We get it. Can we I, get it. We can understand they? that we have a problem with parents attending PDA meetings. In this no, country. that's a big problem. Being involved that in is a big problem. Lives, especially in their school work. So they are trying new things to try and appeal to parents and get them involved. Listen, I'm all for, for new things. You understand? I'm all for trying. Listen, try it out. Do something that, different. I tell that, people doing this. That is not effective. I'm just hey. saying. You don't know that. You don't know if they are ten. How many? How many people were at that PTA yeah, meeting? Let's investigate. Know. Let's investigate. Let's find out because the ten uh, PTA meeting attendance may have gone up, so it may have been effective. Greg, you Greg, you're an eternal optimist. Yeah, he, he's doing. <laughs> awesome you're an over eternal there. optimist. Greg, you're doing great, sweetie. Hey, I just provide perspective. You know what I mean? I try to look at things from multiple angles as opposed to just one or two. You know, I'm I mean? a grinch. I, look at things, I just know? I feel as though it, like the it should the message should match the brand, right? Yeah. So like Jay said, it's a little ratchet. It's a private you know school. I mean? It presented themselves as a little no, ratchet. No, no. Oh, is Mon-Kermel a little ratchet? So this is your perception of the brand. No, I ask it. Is is Mon-Kermel no? A it was ratchet it, initially it was not supposed to be. It was supposed to be a decent preparatory private school. They tell me that's then the they got all the rejects. rejects. Yeah, yeah, yeah all pretty all much. Pretty much. That's what so happened. Is that not ratchet? No, it wasn't supposed to be Greg. They, they have, be on they right? have, they oh have uh, what's, the, what's, the, what's the word? They they have strayed away from their ethos. Uh-uh. I don't know what their ethos was. Uh-uh. But all I know is people used to say that's the reject school. Well, okay, moving away from that, right? Mm-hmm. Um, oh, I call another reject school name. <laughs> it's just maybe, okay, maybe it's effective. Maybe it reaches the audience and it's, you know, but I, uh, watch all these people. I just gotta watch my, watch, my watch father getting that message from the school. Like, hold on. Who they think they are? Exactly. What the dog like, do? What the hell? I just say gonna pay till Monday. Hey, listen, watch. I just say gonna pay till June. Hey, if you pay your school fee, then you ain't got nothing to worry about. They ain't talking to you. You know they ain't talking to you, so y'all shouldn't be offended. But watch yeah. someone pull this child over that. Yeah, well, we can see. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> but pay. anyhow, let's wrap up because we're not gone way over time today. Oh, yeah, solid. Good talk, good talk, people. Uh, like I said, it was wonderful seeing you guys in person again. I enjoyed Aww. these conversations. Oh, more. Uh-huh. Man, just gives another level uh, to the conversation. You know, it just feels more, you know, organic, more natural mm-hmm. instead of talking to the screen because we just be looking at these screens all day. Yeah, yeah we need a break. Need a vacation. So it's good to actually talk to people in person. True. So it's good to have you guys again. Always uh, great contributions. Um, thank you all once again. We appreciate it greatly, and we thank you guys for tuning in. Thank we you. We didn't read much comments today, but I tried to put up as many comments as possible on the screen for those that are tuning in on Facebook Live. Mm-hmm. For those that are on SoundCloud, that listen on SoundCloud, please like the Facebook page if you would like to see our beautiful faces. And if you would like to read the comments on screen, you can follow us on Facebook, One Entrepreneur 2, the number two entrepreneur on Facebook. Like the page, follow it. You'll get updates once we go live. But if you can't, you know, we appreciate you listening on SoundCloud as well. Also, the videos are also on YouTube. So you can search for the W2 E. We everywhere King. on YouTube. You have no excuse. Oh. And you can also see us and see the comments that are put up on the screen. So please go ahead and subscribe to that page as well. And yes, and yeah. buy some shirts. As you can see, Gail is sporting the lovely, our lovely slogan that we have for this show that we end every show with. Losers make excuses, winners make adjustments. And she is wearing so nicely. Look at that. Just look at that. Wait, look at hey, the head bob. I tell you, wait, only a person with a long neck can do that. She she, she does not come with the shirt. Gail, where they can contact, where they can go uh, to get their shirts if they want purchase. Inbox me on Facebook. Inbox Gail on Facebook. And that's Gail Hannah. Keep your own do it. <laughs> Gail Hannah. Hey, yeah, wait. Facebook. And that is for t-shirts. Uh, can now. I do an ad? Go right ahead, man. Oh boy, let's hear it. Fellas. Oh. Are you tired of that gal coming by you and taking your shirt? Yes. Take it no more. 
<laughs> we have one entrepreneur, two entrepreneur shirts available. She can actually take it home with her. Oh. It can be used as a night dress because I have a couple two X available. Mm. And it have a positive message on it. So if she is the entrepreneurial type, mm -hmm. You'll be effective. Mm -hmm. Come on, Come buy on, a shirt. Man. Stop it. Buy a shirt. You know, and you know she always wearing a shirt. Exactly. She's taking all my shirts. You know what I mean? So exactly. Go ahead and get her that nice shirt to cover her body up. Yeah. I mean, even though you the do whole not want body cover. No. Y'all ain't having in the white Peters as exposed the puppies here? Wow. Not, not yet. Check. Not yet. But soon. Soon. But <laughs> I can guarantee you, it, it'll I'm be looking just, up for you. It'll be just as wonderful taking that shirt off her as she has putting it on. So uh, go true. Ahead true. And purchase this lovely <laughs> shirt for her. Inbox Gail Hannah. And now that's for shirts. That is not for no safari pictures. Please do not safari. send them to her inbox. Just for t shirts, okay? T shirts only. Only. If you like the purchase. Only. Gail aim purchasing. Nothing. So she is selling the shirt. So don't try to advertise. Thanks. When you go in her only the shirts. Clear. Shoot your shirt. Or you could. Uh, uh, you <laughs> You can also message the page. Um, if you don't have Gail on Facebook, you can message the page. Watch for not to watch for not. Gail also will, has access to that, so she'll be able to uh, um, get with you through the page. Yes. Um, but go ahead and get your shirts. Um, and like I said, we end the show with, with that's a very slogan. Losers yes. make excuses. Winners make adjustments. People, please be careful out there when you're making these decisions and the impact that it may have. Don't just jump on social media trends. Oh, look at me. I put my phone on silent. <laughs> Don't jump on social media trends just because they it's are popular cool. because, you know, it may be a risk, but hey, it's your business. Hmm. So you weigh the risk, you weigh the benefits, and then go from there. So until next time, people, thanks once again, and peace. Bye. It's the after show. It's the after